Techtober is here and uh, this means that we are on the cusp of a lot of exciting smartphone launches and speaking of launches we have already witnessed a major smartphone launch last month I'm talking about yeah these babies <laughs> iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max but if you are planning to purchase one of these I would say hold on to your purchase because uh, mark your calendars October 4th is the date when the Pixel 8 series drops in India I am Aman, he's Manas and we are going to tell you everything about the Pixel 8 series in this video so I would say grab a popcorn and sit tight or, or coffee or whatever you want like, why specifically or popcorn? yeah yeah <laughs> so anyway so this Aman is probably the first person who is so excited about this Techtober because anyone and everyone else I know who covers this technology space is right now sweating like anything because there are so many launches planned for this month. They're gonna be the pixels, which I don't talk about in this video. Then there's the OnePlus foldable, OnePlus which is coming foldable, out yeah. soon. OnePlus I'll be going for that. I'm 11. Very excited about that. Our Red Solar yeah, Edition is Red there. Solar. The Vivo V series, 29 series is coming out, and a lot of other. Samsung uh, is also planning Samsung launches. Is, wow. Yeah. S23, S23. 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 But anyway, coming back to the pixels. Uh, so what do you know about the? What do you feel about the pixels in India? First question to you. I am first of all relieved. Relieved. Relieved because Google is launching them in India. Achha, okay, it's that's actually why. Yeah, we were them not even India. sure uh, in the first place that whether the Pixel. Because, I mean, come. those of you who follow would know that a couple of years ago, Google had sort of stopped bringing the Pixel phones to India. It changed only last year with only, this. Uh, After a three years gap, gap, they came back with the Pixel 7 series. And we've seen some sort of a consist consistency as well in, in the sense that you had the Pixel 6, 8, 7, 7 Pro, and then the Pixel 7. Eh? But then again, when the Pixel 8 series was first announced, mm. There was no mention of the India launch initially. But, we knew, but I so, was very hopeful, hopeful optimistic. and optimistic that these will drop because the sales have been decent of the A series and uh, they haven't given any numbers of the Pixel 7 series. Uh, the, the but but it's good that they're coming here. So I, my first feeling was that I'm relieved. Okay. Okay. Now, what do I expect? This year of everything else first of all i expect them to be priced really nicely really aggressively you want to, to start with the price yes okay i'll give you a spoiler i'll give you uh, so let's do one thing let's talk about the price at the end but let's first give everyone a feel about what we are expecting on the phones this year okay so the feel is that there are two sizes these are iphones of course so there's going to be a 6.1 inches Pixel, pixel 8, 8 that will drop from the 6.3 inches if in case you're confused why we're showing this because to give you a reference, this is what the size of the Pixel 7 yeah. will be. This is how it will feel like in your hand. So it can go down to 6.1 to 6.2 inches while the uh, the bigger variant, the Pixel 8 Pro, that one will retain the 6.7 inches screen size. Again, full HD resolution on the small one, Quad HD Plus on the bigger one. But the main change is that the smaller variant is about to get 120 hertz. So up Refresh. from 90 hertz is going to be a 120 hertz screen. While this one again 120 hertz screen, okay, it retains from the last retains year. Retains from the last year, but what's interesting about the Pixel 8 Pro will be that it's getting a temperature sensor. What do you think? Is it, it will it be a gimmick, or will it be an, a useful feature? First, let me tell everything. What so it does, temperature yeah. a temperature sensor will let you sense the temperature. You can sense your body temperature, the temperature of your coffee or your laptop or whatever you know you may feel like you know if you want to check the temperature so that's the temperature sensor for you so what do you think about it so, so to talk about that I, i'll give you some context about how the pixel phones are perceived in the market they're not like your usual smartphones i mean right. let's be honest about it <laughs> and somewhat google has to be blamed for that because it has always maintained and positioned them in a way where i also feel that they're a boring phone like they're the most boring smartphones that launch every year because they cater to a particular niche, right? And let's be honest about that. So when a feature like this also comes, I don't know how many mass users would actually use it and would be excited about it. But or is it like an upgrade for them? But Pixel phones have always been about these uh, quirky features. Remember that's what, the Pixel that, 2? That's there why was a squeeze feature, then there was this Pixel 4. What, what, what did it bring? It also brought some This is exactly features. why I started by saying that these are niche products, these are boring products because while this may not be a hit among the masses, there are a lot of Pixel fans. enthusiasts, fans who would appreciate a feature like this and they are well equipped or worse to actually make use of it as well because if you go around and if you ask a normal user, they may not do what to do with the temperature sensor. I mean, <laughs> they don't want to know the temperature of their coffee. It's hot. It works for them. I mean, it doesn't matter how hot it is, right? So, 
for any why will you do something why will you do like something like that i would i mean if you're sitting in a coffee shop imagine like this if you're sitting in a coffee shop somebody said the temperature of their coffee you'll think that they've lost their mind right but there are for pixel enthusiasts there are pixel users who may actually find a good use case for it and okay. they may want to make use of it. so for them maybe it's an exciting feature for everyone else i don't know it's just another usual add on so by the way this is the only major change that i can see on the pixel 8 pro because apart from that the looks are the design, the is design is more or less same colors will be different there is one big change over there though which is that on the front huh. on the pixel 8 pro specifically this yeah. year you will have a flat display instead flat of the display. curved display curved. which was there last year i don't know what's happening with that because Everybody seems like everybody hmm. is ditching curved displays. They're going back. They're going back to flat and panels. And curved displays are getting cheaper. Yeah, ah, it's just so strange. Can you see that? Because so, I still believe, I'm a huge believer that the curved panels feel better than flat displays anyway. I I think so. The flat panels are much better, but okay. Every, why is that? Huh? Why is that? Because it's more practical. It does not reflect the content when you see, you know. So there are a few factors, and plus when you drop it, I think so. Curved displays have more chances of uh, surviving. Oh, no, I mean, no, curved no. has more chance of breaking. Yeah, this yeah, one sure. will survive. Flat better, has a better I chance believe. of surviving. Yeah. Apart from this, uh, same camera setup. Uh, so dual cameras on the smaller variant, triple cameras on the bigger variant. Megapixel count remains the same, but I don't know about the sensors. We'll have to wait and see if there's an upgrade in the sensor. In the sensors or not? What I'm expecting for sure is that there'll be a lot of new camera features. Because... Camera features and better ISP because of course Tensor G3 will be the new chipset. And that, I mean, Software is something that Google is always so big on. So obviously, there'll be new camera features. Again, making use of the new chipset. There's a Tensor Tensor G3. Is it Tensor G3? And this is what I want to talk about next. Cancel Exynos 2300. This is what I want to talk about next because the biggest pain point for any Pixel user in the last couple of years has been this chipset, where they believe that somehow it's not able to make uh, hmm. the full use of the other hardware which is there apart from the camera because. uh the performance is not there it's not at par with let's say a samsung galaxy s something ultra or right. the iphone the latest iphones i think that it has to do with samsung's manufacturing the track record has just not been good if you look at the past exynos chipsets only but they right. themselves have dished them so yeah they have samsung is using them and this one as i am saying i'm not joking uh, this is the cancelled exynos 2300 in disguise the tensor g3 so basically what i'm trying to say is that the apple made a chipset which wasn't up to what they were expecting right so they didn't use it themselves but they have sold this to google <laughs> and made them rebrand it as the tensor g3 and now google may use it's it based on the, on the same architecture it's retaining the same cores the same everything so i'm not sure what kind of performance we can expect of course winter is coming so let's not judge uh, the performance but i hope that there are significant and visible performance See, gains, visible especially performance in terms of thermal management thermal management was good on the pixel 2 you know in the initial stages pixel 2 was like 6 pixel 2 oh, oh sorry 7, not 7. the pixel 2 sorry pixel 7 7 pro sorry pixel 7 pro thermal management was quite good during the winter season but again come march april, april. and i started seeing those things you know why people complained about the thermal management so that was an issue so that remains to be seen how tensor g3 performs and uh, apart from this battery and all that go with the usual stuff i mean it's 45000 mah uh, which is 4500 4500 on the smaller one which is a 200 mah something bump and bump, yeah. 5000 on the bigger one so that's i mean that's pretty thing. standard that's what you get on most other Android yeah. flagships as well. Charging again, we'll have to see because they don't usually give very fast charging. But about twenty-seven, twenty-three watt wired charge. Twenty-three watt on the it's Pixel Eight and the Pixel Eight Pro twenty-seven watt wired. Okay, pricing. The, before the pricing, the other big story here and what we are hearing a lot of rumors about is the software support and there is going to be a huge change in oh, that because yeah, yeah, yeah. what initially we were hearing was that they may give five years of software support, but, but now there are rumors that they act. They may actually give seven, seven years. years of software like support. Like bypassing I, Samsung I, and matching the iPhone. And I just don't want them to do it because huh. this might be an excuse excuse not launch a Pixel phone in India next year oh. or in, in the next two years. But okay, they haven't yet. They haven't nothing, announced it officially. Nothing yet. is clear. Also, like what kind of seven years of upgrades these will be? Hmm. So, are we looking at seven major Android, Android updates, upgrades, or are we looking at four plus? I don't know seven security patch I don't, updates. I don't. I don't think so it would have made so many headlines if it was four plus something. It's gonna be f- at least five years of Android updates. So let's see. That, that this is interesting, of course. Coming to the price now. 
Okay, pricing minus is $699 starting for the Pixel 8 and $999 uh, reportedly. Reportedly for $999 for the Pixel 8 Pro. These this is $100 jump over the last jump year's over models. the last year models. Now, if I convert these prices, this is 58,000 rupees and 83,000 rupees. Roughly. Which is almost the same again as last year's Pixel 7. Actually, 2,000 rupees Pixel less. I mean, this is a direct conversion, so let's keep everything else in mind. So, Pixel 7 came in at 60,000. 60, 7 Pro came at 85,000. Right. So, this is if, if like the direct, direct conversion comes about in the same region. What do you think? Will but, it be the same or not? But of course, it won't be the direct conversion. I think so. If, if the US pricing is getting a bump, Indian price will also get a bump. My hunch is. 65,000 rupees for the Pixel 8 if Google is going all aggressive and uh, Max it can go to 70,000 for the if, for the Pixel 8. If being aggressive, they will increase. If being will aggressive is 60. if being aggressive is pricing the Pixel 8 at 65,000, then I think Google will be shooting itself <laughs> in the <laughs> foot because at 65,000 I simply don't see too many people buying the Pixel 8. And at 95,000, I surely don't see anyone buying the Pixel 8 Pro. Because so by that logic, 90 to 90. Yeah, by, because that, by that logic, yeah, Pixel 8 Pro. A lot of competition and you have to factor in that right now, all these sales that are coming up, they're going to sell iPhone 13 and 14, so 40,000, 50,000 rupees. iPhone 13 is already being advertised, so 39, triple nine. Exactly, and the pic, for, for 14 is coming at 50,000. Why oh, would you? I, I, I didn't know about that. There's a 20,000 rupees wow. price cut there. I mean, with the card offers and everything. Deal. Now, if you factor that in, why would anyone want to spend 65,000 rupees on a Pixel 8? And by the way, Google is already doing some bizarre things, I'll tell you. <laughs> the Pixel 7 right now is selling for and less 40, for right? less than what Pixel 7a is selling for. Right, right, right. So 42,000. is also said to, be go, to go around 35, 36, 42,000 for Pixel 7 and 44 for Pixel 7a. That is crazy. That is just, I, it doesn't make any sense. So I hope if these phones are to be a hit and I believe that they can be a hit in India and Google Pricing has already tested the market. They know that there is a demand. Just price them right. I would say 50 to 55,000 for the Pixel 8 and somewhere around 70, between 70 to 80 for the Pixel 8 Pro. You have, that is quite aggressive. That is, quite, and that, you, that is where you can crack the Indian market finally and you can actually be a threat or a competition to an iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy S series. But again, Let's wait, let's see what happens on 4th of October, that's the global launch, 5th of October is the uh, India launch, we'll be covering uh, both these detail. events in detail, of course you'll get the videos here and you can also go to our channel which is Fiber F double I, with a double I, it's double I, it's the it's a, it's a tech YouTube channel by India Today Group, where we make a lot of fun, engaging tech videos both in English and Hindi, you'll see Aman in English, you'll see a bunch of other people in Hindi uh, making these videos. So go over there, subscribe to that channel as well. And if in case you have any questions you can about both these phones, the we'll be reviewing them, we can address them over there as well.